goes, uh, what's up, fellas? Huge fan, 23 years old, been driving semi trucks for seven months. I work around 70 hours a week. Any advice on how to get another reliable stream of income while working so much? I'll let you guys take it yeah. if you want. It. Go ahead. You got one? 70 hours a week. Trucking. Yeah, man, there's a myth, million things you could do. If you, if I was a truck driver, I I would, and I know you're making good money, man, so I would hire a little assistant to go on Facebook Marketplace and start finding you single-family mobile homes, Damn. and then owner finance those bitches out and make a bag, bag, for sure. That's uh, what I would do. I yeah. would I would recommend. He's going to be making 70, uh, six figures make, working 70 hours a week as a truck driver. Oh, so yeah, he's like, smashing it. So, like, yeah. just to pay, like, a little assistant or somebody like that to scrum Facebook Marketplace, they give these free trailers away, man. A lot of times you can just pay to move them and find, get you a real estate agent that can find land and zone for it. And, and then just put those two and two together and instead yeah. of renting it out, man, owner finance it, give somebody the American dream. You're going to be ahead yeah. on the note. Because the bills are probably nothing yep. since he's on the road all the time. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, so, so, so do. Just brilliant what he just said. So that, wh how would you get that information? We're listening on Rumble. You can listen at double speed. <laughs> Guys, what you need to do is especially, this is something a lot of people did during the pandemic and came out with new businesses, is they started driving for Uber Eats. So they started driving for some delivery service, right? Postmates. And when they did so, they would put Air AirPods in and they would listen to every podcast, every YouTube video. You can go to Coursera. You can go to uh, iTunes U. You can go to uh, the Khan Academy and just learn, learn, learn till you can find some level of expertise. I think the best thing you can do is educate yourself. There's so many things you can do, but I would become obsessed with audiobooks and podcasts that can help you get to towards your goals. And then you're going to get gems like what he said right now. I'm sure some, my, my, uh, my, Clients, I guarantee you're all listening to this at double speed. They're going to listen to this whole show at double speed. That's one thing I highly recommend people do is get as much information in as you can as quickly I as you can. I do that audible as well. Yeah. So it's funny because my first job here was uh, taking phone calls at AT&T, and I need extra income. So I did Uber. And what I would do is I would have headphones in, but I would wait to see if the guests wanted me to talk to them or not. If they don't want to talk, perfect. Pop in a podcast, talk, bigger pockets, Grant Cardone, real estate, learn that. When I got home, study like a maniac at yeah. Starbucks or my house. Incredible. You're right, bro. And it that changed my whole life. Changed your whole yeah, life. I want to say something about that Starbucks thing. A lot of times I would leave my office mm -hmm. because I knew that my house was so quiet and that atmosphere wasn't good. I would go to a place like Starbucks or even a sports bar and sit there with my laptop. And yeah. What happens is you get yourself in that environment and that environment can light you up kind of like an airport will do. And so that's a really important thing that you just pointed out is like a lot of times at the end of a work day, put yourself in another atmosphere that has like an energy about it that'll make you work even longer and harder because when so, you're home it's comfortable you know right. you got tv there Netflix, bed, food there's a you dog get, you get lazy yeah. Yeah. People. And then, but starbucks everyone's hustling bustling coffee yeah. computers you're right and, yeah. and it's like and it's a part of your story i used to go to this starbucks mm. and, and after work and try to develop myself so you start to build like this montage this hero's journey story when you do these types of things it's and very that is important. where i met the guy with the lambo that inspired me to get a lambo that day Mm -hmm. Pulled up with a blonde, yeah. blue eyes, big yeah. ass. I was like, damn, who is this guy? Yeah. Shout out to interracial sex. And yeah. now <laughs> that is me pulling up. Feel me? Uh, and guys, we got 12,000 plus y'all watching live. So do me a favor, man. Can y'all um, please like the video and then follow us on Rumble? We want to hit 500,000 followers on here. Um, have half another, a mil. Another party as well. And we'll have another par party, depending on what we hit first, whether it's a million on the Clips channel or um, 500K on Either here. Or. We'll throw another boat party for y'all. Um, okay, where are we at here? We got uh, the 